like because here's the question mm. to f you good he's got to go through a bunch of other women in the past to learn how to f you i don't think that's true i don't think so I mean, from a guy's good. perspective an 18 year old is not going to know how to f just because he watches totally accurate uh, a 35 year old has... a 35 year old is going to know how to f because he's had a mm. plethora of women. But say you're dating a 25-year-old who's been in a three-year relationship with another girl, tried a bunch of stuff with her, and knows how to f her, and then he knows how to f you. It's just one relationship, one body. He's see, fucking see, me. See, here's, here's, here's the example that really matters versus whether you're f***ing a 4'11 girl, girl or <laughs> whether you're f***ing a 4'11 girl or a girl that's 6 foot. Gotcha. You f*** differently. What if they're f***ing together? Calm. <laughs> you f*** different. You them differently well it's obviously not, the not, position sex is about like, angles you have to and sex is about angles versus you're able to pick them up whether the things you're able to do with oh, the, the sure. positions you're able to do with them you can't this, like you a, can't thug, a thick chick you're gonna her differently than a, <laughs> yeah. a little petite thing yeah yeah and, a little petite uh, thing and, and let's just say, okay. let's just say that let's just say this guy has been with only tall women so he's not gonna know how to fuck a short queen <laughs> if maybe, but it doesn't mean that you can't teach him. If if he it's was, not gonna be it's not gonna be immediately. Maybe maybe you know, after a while. But you want a man that can f you and and get you going. And yeah. it, he has to have bodies under his belt. And disagree. Uh, yeah. I, well, disagree. I disagree. I feel like body count for men personally. I don't think it matters that much. <laughs> I don't think it does. Because as long as they don't show that, or uh, no, let me wear this right. As long as they aren't like showing disinterest. In me because of their by high high body count it doesn't affect me like why would that affect me? so you guys are fine with a guy with a super low body count who is horrible in the bedroom with you it doesn't matter to you whether he f you really good or not is well, that no, is I, that important well, to you i prefer you stay better sex over well he's not gonna have a low body count well then that's body not body count is not, not true matter. if he's like in relationships then he he doesn't know how to fuck if he's in He's only, well, just because he's Maybe been with one person for two years. Maybe it took you a long time to learn, but just I think other guys can catch on. Oh, just, yeah. just because he's been with one person for two years doesn't know how, mean he knows how to fuck anybody besides that one person. Right, if that one person isn't adventurous, but say he was with, you know, somebody who's really into all sorts of fun stuff and she orders BDSM products The online, exception doesn't make the rule. He's into it. The I, exception doesn't make the rule. I don't think body count in a guy necessarily cor correlates to his skill in bed because a guy who's had like say five long-term girlfriends right. yeah. versus he's slept with 50 chicks but only one or two times each yes he's probably had more sex yes. in those relationships and more adventurous sex and it's it's probably, more exploratory and it's, been, and it's probably been boring and it's probably been basic no no, no that's the opposite. Opposite. I, disagree, I disagree with you a little bit you on that but i'm not more. saying a, a guy who's only had a bunch of casual relationships he can be good in bed too mm -hmm. but i'm saying like i don't think body count necessarily like if a guy's body counts five he could be killer in well bed. let's just say the guy that has a, a body count let's say of a hundred he's gonna you better than a guy with a body count of two disagree disagree not, not necessarily, necessarily. Not, and just experience you, you're not a let's just you practice in a sport it makes you better sure but if you okay so you dedicate 10,000 hours to your sport of fucking 10,000 women, but you dedicate 10,000 hours to your sport of fucking your one partner and you try a whole bunch of new stuff with them. It's the same experience. But that only works with her. It no. It's not, it's not just more because, beautiful. Just oh. because it's not more exciting. See, just because it okay. worked with her in a certain oh, way that you, you did it. You get different experiences I, with I different people. Of, I see what you mean because women's orgasm response is very varied. Different. And it's like completely between different, different between women. Every so different like, woman. I kind of see what you're saying where if you have a bit more experience, like because what pussies. works for one girl doesn't work for another. Yeah, I see what exactly. you mean there. But you did mention the it's not going to be freaky or whatever. It doesn't have to always be, but I'm assuming that a guy that's only been with two women, it's probably not as freaky as a guy who's been with 50. Mm, I think I mean, through, I think through every man or every new partner that you have or same partner that you have, you teach each other things and you learn from each other. Not if you're both vanilla. Not if one of them's vanilla. Well, what I would say though to that is, you're not really going to be able to explore some kinks in a one night stand, really. Right. Like, exactly. In a relationship, that's when you can go, I think, deeper in. into... But if you have a one-night stand, you better know how to f*** her right. Sure. Okay, but Nobody's arguing. But okay, but wait. <laughs> but what is her version of f***ing 
doing her right in comparison to somebody else. So say you're. How, how say, often? No, no, how often? Right when's now, the last time you were with, a, with? When's the last time you were with a man that made you come? That is none of your business. <laughs> very recently. Very recently. Well, how 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 rare is that to happen? It's not that rare if you have good commu- communication. It's actually very. It's actually very rare compared to. How are you going to tell me? What's, how are you gonna I tell don't me know what's the stat. Well, I, I mean, I watch a lot of podcasts, so I'm just. There's also statistics a, on how many girls fake or we could bring up for you that might not be. All I'm, I'm just. <laughs> I'm well, just let me, can I ask you a question? So, if you're just having a bunch of one night stands, right? I, from what I've heard from from women is. If you're having casual sex with guys, in those scenarios, guys are going to be much more focused on their own pleasure mm, than yeah. getting the girl off. Like, yeah. and if you're just like the girl one time, See, you're going to be I, like well, a little less concerned with. See, getting her off. And no, your I mean, idea I'll still be able see, to do I, it. See, I, I take, I, my enjoyment is her enjoyment. Well, I, I like. Well, I like what it. if you don't know her enjoyment? Then how well, are you? Gonna for good if you don't know her enjoyment if you're well, fucking, making her come. you gotta you gotta know how to make her come okay but what if you have never fucked her before how are you gonna make her come just from being with, with a lot of girls being with it all makes the girls easy being with 50 I mean, girls who don't who come in different ways you're gonna fuck I the mean, same girl the way you if, fuck if, all 50 if, girls if, if plan if plan a didn't work plan b didn't work plan c can work if you're gonna fuck me the same way you fuck 50 other girls <laughs> well, that's, that's, well, that's, <laughs> i'm that's, sorry well, that's the point you were not supposed to you the same way okay but if you've been with 50 other girls as a comparison to being with one person that you have gotten to know and understood at the end of the day a, a marriage 80 percent of marriages divorce because of sex whether you're not having it or whether it's not pleasurable <laughs> go look up the stat 80 percent of divorce 80 percent of vo- divorce cap. where's the cap button 80 <laughs> percent of divorce factors in a lack of sex a lack of good sex if erroneous. You, I, Cade, erroneous. I, I would say I, I kind of disagree with you on that. The, the divorce <laughs> stats, as far as I know, the, the leading cause of divorce is typically finance. 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 Mm-hmm. finance. But 80% of those divorces wouldn't happen if you could f*** her better. <laughs> I don't agree. There could be something to that. Subjective, there could be something to that. but there, okay. But I agree with you in the sense of even for like something more casual, like you are still focused on the girl's pleasure. Like for me, I'm always like, I'm gonna make her come first, then I'm gonna come after. So, but uh, actually really quick, let's go around the table on this. So if the sex is bad, is it a wrap? And guys, we will get caught up on the super chats. We're gonna go around the table on this and then we'll do super chats. I see all the super chats guys, we will get to them. So if the sex is bad, is it a wrap. Okay. Um, I've had this experience, but first date, if the sex is bad and I know the guy isn't very experienced, give him another chance. If I'm really into him, if I love this guy, like I'm ready to kind of commit to him, give him another chance and try again and then see if that connection's there. Because what matters to me more is not that the guy knows what moves to make. It's more that like we can like, you know, feel it and like really get into it and the passion is what matters so i think that there's room for the guy to learn in in my book sure depends on the situation um maybe first time nerves let's say the performance isn't really up to par the first depends on the case yeah and what happens well, if it's try to bad be more precise. situation number two, number three? What if, I don't know. What if I've never had to worry about that before, so I guess I haven't She's, thought of but it. But what if it occurred? Like, let's say you like the guy, but sex wasn't great, you know? If I really or is the sex him, just always bomb with you? <laughs> if I really liked the guy, I'd be about more, more than just that. Okay. I mean, I feel like if they suck during like the initial time, if you're communicating and you're saying like what you want and what you don't like that they do, it's gonna improve. Mm-hmm. Like if you're going into it and you're like, he didn't know that I wanted this specifically, yeah, it's gonna suck because you're not telling him what you want. And that goes both ways. If you want like a certain thing done in bed and that's gonna make you come, say it. Tell us, please. Well, what happens if it's still, Tell it, us. what happens if he still hasn't hit the spot after five, 10 times? If he oh, can't f- you, that's you're gonna disappear. But if I, listen, not necessarily disappear, but give f- valid feedback, and then if it still doesn't improve, yes, sex is extremely important when it comes to long-term commitment. I cannot argue that. But when when what we're talking about that comes with experience and having more sex under your belt, regardless whether it's with one person, and like the way you right. come is not gonna be the same way you come. 
So, so just you gotta like, know you gotta know how to make and depends on how many partners you have, but you have to figure out you can't just be a one trick pony. Mm -hmm. And you and you you practice more tricks by getting in more practice. Let's continue going around the table on this. What about you? Um, I feel like good sex like comes with having a lot of passion. So like if you're really mm -hmm. vibing with the person first date and you have sex like and it's not that good, I feel like you can give them another try. Yeah. And what what it's if, what if it's not so good the next time for you? But it really depends on how much I'm liking this person. Like if I'm like just like if I'm not looking for anything serious and yeah, probably. What are you looking for? <laughs> In this exact moment? Sure. Situationship. <laughs> You're looking for a situation ship. Yeah, okay. I think I'd be perfect for that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, her DMs are open. You heard that, ladies and gentlemen. But, um, but yeah, like, with so time. with that, it's like, if it's bad and you're not looking for anything, then like, why, why do it again, you know? Okay. I mean, I think if you have chemistry and you're willing to, like, if you really like them and the first time, yeah, it's not great, I do think that you can improve it by telling them and if they're tilt the microphone down towards you and if they're um open to you know getting you off and like listening to what you're saying then yeah i think it can get better okay. but i mean also if they're not and they are kind of just caring about themselves then yeah mm -hmm. that's a no i definitely think there's room for growth no pun intended <laughs> <laughs> but i no, i really do i i think what the con <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you uh, what the consensus has said i think when there is is love and passion there that there is opportunity for growth and learning but i feel like if there is no improvement long term that no like it depends what you value it depends what you value personally if it's not getting any better and it's something that doesn't seem like can be taught or not willing to switch something up or learn then yeah, it may be a bit of a turn off, but long term. See, here's a problem though, is regardless, I've, had, I've been in two situations where the woman was absolutely beautiful. I was very physically attracted to her, but in the bedroom, it, you can make an argument that the quicker sex the guy has, the faster he comes, the more he enjoys it, or the better the sex is for him. Where you can go hours. I've gone. There's multiple situations with with these two women in the past year, where the sex would be three hours long, nonstop, and I couldn't finish. And that's and, and but there's but there was all, I've also been with women that I can f six times in three hours. It just it's there's it's just, it's it's the body chemistry. Also, how much alcohol you have in your system? Well, the times that we the both of those situations where one round, three hours, just, it, there was no alcohol. Crazy. And you, it just boils down to how much you actually physically like them and how much body chemistry do you have. You won't know until you're in the bed. Wait, did you say the three hours was with someone you didn't feel chemistry with or you did? Physical, like I, I found her very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Inside the bedroom. Not so it much. Just, she so was enjoying it. Hours, she thought right. because I could go three hours nonstop, Crazy. she was enjoy having the time of her life. Right. And she, she, she would, would hit me up so later on. You. But I just, I try, I gave her three different tries. This one girl, I gave her three different tries. I'm like, maybe it'll, maybe I'll enjoy it later on. It, but it was always just extremely long rounds. And a guy that's really enjoying it is going to finish fast. Yeah. But did you like communicate with her, or did you just assume? Well, there's that she nothing she was. There's out? nothing she was doing wrong. Well, then, like, uh, if uh. there's something you need to come that's not happening, you're physically attracted to her, but the sex is not feeling it. Like, why would you not just say, "Oh, like, there's let's nothing try this"? To, it was nothing to do with her. Oh. Uh, then uh. you're not as physically attracted to her. I feel like very beautiful face, attraction. perfect body, very beautiful face, and a perfect body. Sometimes it's just the like problem, the person then? won't vibe with just, you sexually. It's just, yeah, sometimes it just isn't there, and that's okay. Oh. Sexual eh. attraction is different vibe. than just like vibe. physical attraction. Yeah, I mean, okay, so my take on this is, and I don't know, my, and we'll watch the video on this, my view on this is very similar to uh, Andrew Tate's view on this. I know you guys don't like Andrew Tate, but actually he has, I think a very, I think a take that some of you might like is, uh, you know, like if a girl is genuinely trying, she's trying her best, but maybe she, she's not 
that good. First off, it's very hard for a woman to be bad in bed. Like, yeah. men are going to be the drivers of bad sex. Like, a woman really doesn't need to do much. You just, it's, not, it's not about her being bad. It's just you just don't enjoy it with her. Well, and it, it takes a lot for a girl to fuck up sex. Like, mm. honestly, a girl can do very little and the sex can still be great. Like a girl really doesn't have to do all that much for the sex to be good. But let me just finish my thing here. So as long as she's like best effort, as long as she's trying, you know, if she doesn't like some guys are thinking, Oh, well she, a lot of girls think, Oh man, here's how I get a guy. I got to suck his dick really good. And I got to fuck him really good. No. Like the way you're going to get a guy is, is everything else that you're bringing outside of the bedroom you have to offer more than just sex that's what's going to turn me on is not is not like how good you can suck dick or the way in which you can maneuver your pelvis on top of me like that is not important to me i don't like you know if i love her and she loves me and i can tell that she's trying and she doesn't suck dick very well. It's like, she well, an A one effort. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, well, you're not the best at it, but I love you. Yeah. You love me. That's what matters. And it, I think you'll impress me much more by the other things that you're bringing outside of the bedroom than just, oh, can you do the what's that stupid shit from Caller Daddy? The fucking Glock uh, Glock nine thousand that bullshit. Yeah. I don't, don't give watch like, that show, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, let's just watch the tape video because he articulates it way better than than me. I pretty much almost lifted it from, from him, but it it that's how I feel like. And I just also before you pull it up, I, like I said, it just it's really I know what I'm doing in the bedroom. Like I know how to lead. So like a girl could I could Isn't have Isn't that all that's really necessary just a man that knows how to lead and then you just kind of like follow? Well I here's the thing you I can could take control but That's yeah. the thing that's the thing and I think that's kind of one of the reasons why men and women value body count differently I could have fantastic sex with a girl who's a virgin mm. Most girls are going to look at a guy who's a virgin 